everyone welcome back to the channel so i'm here with part two of my little tutorial on how to do a sort of rainy window um i'll link part one in the description of the video just so it's easier to find for you if anyone wants to do this on a coloring page you could do it on any coloring page you want as long as you've got room to pop in the search um you could do it on anything um but all this is dry now from part one so i'm going to go ahead and do my raindrops now so there's different ways of doing raindrops if you look on youtube and find sort of tutorial videos i think everyone does it a little bit different but it's generally the same kind of thing to be honest and it can be really easy um you can make it more difficult if you want to make it more difficult or it can be very simple so i'm using a silver black velvet size 2 brush which it doesn't want to focus in on but i'm using these ones i've also got the Fumui brushes which are a more of a budget friendly brand that's really nice as well so i'm just mixing i've got some white acrylic wash on a palette just there and then i'm mixing some gray just here because we are going to have a darker point to the raindrops and we're going to have a lighter point to the raindrops which i'll show you in a minute um but i'm going to start with the white first now you'll know raindrops different sizes some are big some are small and then you can sort of have dripping down effects if you want to do that so this is what i mean by you can make it as simple or a bit more complicated you can either just do the drops which is what i did in one of my paintings which if you didn't already see it it was this one so we're going to go for this kind of thing um i've not decided if i want to try and do some drips because i didn't do it on this one but i might attempt some drips on this one and see how they turn out um i'm still undecided We'll decide when we get to it but i'm just like do i want to ruin it by trying something new or do i want to stick to what or not um i'm not really sure but we're gonna sort of make like raindrop type little marks all over the window so if i sort of get you down a bit further i'm gonna start from the top because if i start from the bottom and work up i'm gonna be putting my hand into it all if i start from the top then i can come down and my hand's not gonna be getting in the way so yeah basically you can just start some people start with the darkest colors so you might find on youtube some people will start with the darker colors the grays the dark grays um you can do all different size sort of raindrops they do have sort of a roundish form to them but they don't have to be completely round they can be little ovals etc you can have a little circle one you can have all different sizes that's what will make it look more realistic <clears throat> we are going to get some greys into this as well so at the moment it just kind of looks like snow um which sometimes it can appear like snow but i'm going to put, put some teeny tiny ones in as well so i'm going to start on the top bit as well these ones will only really come to life when you put the darker colors in i think at the top you can put some close knit together and maybe a big gap in other places let's try and vary it a little bit maybe some with a big drippy bit at the bottom bigger drippy bit so that's all i'm doing it's very simple to start off with If you can hear kids in the background, the home from school, daddy's downstairs with them playing Roblox with them. So, <laughs> they are supervised. So I'm thinking I might try some of them drips. So if you look at a window when it's rained and you have some drips going down, I'm going to use a, sort of the smallest points of my brush. And I'm going to start from here and it's like a, a really thin wiggly line and then you might have a sort of drop on the end of it so you might have like a big droplet coming off it almost maybe a bit like that i'm going to try and pop some of them in obviously when we get the greys in here as well and the um micron pen detail and then it will all come to life it kind of 
and look a bit dodgy at this stage so don't panic and think oh that looks terrible don't don't be panicking like that just hang with it and i do one that's sort of a big drop big droplet there and then maybe have a little bit of a drip coming down this one my hand's gonna be in the way that the camera goes it tends to go blurry when i get my big hand in the way so if i if i sort of do it that way i don't think it'll go blurry if i keep my hand over this side so some big blobs in there I do need some more up here because I've missed a big spot up here kind of Let's move on to the bottom sections so i think again i'll have a bit of a wiggly line here maybe a big range up there let's sort of have that so it's looks like it's broken off there a little bit This is a lovely page to do for Valentine's Day, don't you? It's still Valentine's Day. I filmed part one the morning of Valentine's Day and this is the sort of afternoon slash going into evening that I'm filming this part. When it will go up on YouTube, I don't know because it's taken a while to upload my videos lately. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah, that's another story. Let's get a bit of a a wiggly one coming halfway down this time. I don't want to um, have it coming from the top all the time. bottom section there we go and a really big one there So he's liking how it's turning out so far. Are you colouring along on one of your colouring pages with this? Drop me a comment down below. Let's do this one. Let's do this You can't even see what I've done there. I do apologise for being off camera there, darlings. Darlings? Don't know where that came from. <laughs> what have I been watching with that said darlings? Oh dear. Cracking up. Cracking up. Right. Let's do a kind of bit of a love there and I think that's where I want to be so far so you can see we've put them in now I'm going to go in I'm doing my sunglasses don't 
get stuck to the page sunglasses oh, let me just wipe off where i've hit the something with paint my paintbrush now well it's too late to rescue that i've put paint on my pantone thing folder not the actual paintings the folder what they're going which is just not fun I do have a spur, so if I have to move the mate of that folder into a different folder, so be it. Let's just move that off my desk so I don't create an absolute mess. So now I'm going to go in with the grey that we mixed. So we mix the grey colour on here. And I might even deepen that up a little bit more. Just because I know it's going to dry lighter than what it's showing on my palette. So let me mix this at the side of me and then I'll show you sort of how dark I've gotten it in a second let me get my cloth what I've thrown on the floor so this is the sort of colour that we've mixed up now on top so say you've got let's look at one raindrop so we've got this raindrop here we're going to put the darkest a bit of the darkest paint at the top section of the raindrop so that we've only got a little bit of the white underneath and we're going to do that on all of them some of them you can leave more white than grey if you want some of them more grey than white you can make them all a little bit different it doesn't really matter but yeah we want to get that colour in at the top quite therapeutic this because once you've sort of once you've popped in all your shapes then it's kind of just mindless where you're going with this grey colour so I'm gonna go back up to the top here I think we've got a big one here haven't we now on the drips we're going to do something different and I'll show you that, you know the big, the big long bits that we've put, put down, I'll show you what we're going to do on those when we come to it. Let's get all these top bits sorted first. And you don't have to be too particular about this either, you can do or you can just sort of blob it on and the overall effect is still really quite good and you'll start to see that come together. glad I did this now. I don't know why the idea just came to me to put this on a on the background of a colouring page. Because I was, this uh, this morning even, I was just going to pop on and do a little colouring chat, colouring the bow. Uh, the bow on the girl, but I'll have to do that in my own time I think now, in the butterfly in my own time. I'm just hoping that, let me turn you around a bit, while I get this little bit I just don't want my hand I filmed a video it was the Johanna Basford um pencils page I filmed that video in real time but it was sort of a voiceover and music and um my hand was basically the camera was too zoomed in so the focus on the camera was switching from my hand to the colouring page and it just was making my eyeballs hurt so only knows what it were making yours like if you were trying to follow along with that so I do apologize for that one let's get that colored in there so 
I've got quite a bit of this colour mixed on my palette just so I don't run out. It is quite easy to mix up greys though if you run out and they don't have to be the same colour grey to be honest. They really don't but can you see it coming together a bit? You're sort of getting that kind of illusion. We've got something else to do with the micron pen at the end when it's all dry just to make it even more realistic looking but just for now you can see it coming together already. I don't think I did a real time on this when I did the painting, it was sort of sped up. All my paintings, my Pantone paintings that I do, are sort of time lapsed. So although you might have seen the video of that, it's nice to see something in real time, isn't it, like this? And I can explain it. So on these ones that are dripping down, we're going to pick one side where we want the darkest colour to be. So I'm going to go for this side over here. So on one side, I'm just going to follow that line down with this grey and then I'm going to choose this side again to pop a bit of that colour down there. I'm just going to neaten this up a little bit. But yeah, that's how I'm going to tackle those ones. A bit like that. Go. Oh, I'm liking this. We're liking this. I'm gonna put there's a little bit of these dripping down here. Gonna pop on there. I do wish I'd have coloured the rest of the page first though before doing this. <laughs> I really don't want to ruin this background so I'm going to, have to be really careful when I'm colouring the rest of the page. I've just got a skin and a bow and those little butterflies to finish off at some point. So I'm going to turn this upside down. So I've got to remember now it's upside down that I'm going on the bottom now because I've turned the page upside down so I'm colouring to sort of bottom rather than top <laughs> so don't confuse yourself it's just because the camera's going to do dodgy things if I try and move it round so we'll do that I nearly messed up then I might have to turn it round before I mess myself up here I'll definitely have to turn it round for that bit because I'm going to get confused there Yeah, let's turn it back round. I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way for a minute, but I need to do this the right way up. So, uh, we did that one dripping down. We picked a side, which side we wanted to put it on. I'm going to do the same again. So, I'm going to pick this side of the little squiggly lines to just pop that line in. Going to pop some colour there. Have that coming off there a bit I think. We're really using the tip of the brush for that bit. And then again we've got a little one I'm off camera again I do apologise. It's so sort of tricky to try and get this shown on camera and try and be careful at the same time because it's really quite delicate I'll put a little drip there so it looks like you know, something's dripped down off there so I'm going to do this side as well so again I think I'll do the grey on this side this time just for a bit of difference I'm still in frame. <laughs> I'm not breathing while I do this bit. Let's get that colour in there. 
you can hear children, they're having Roblox Rage right now. Roblox Rage. They forget how to talk. They're in the same room all sat outside of each other. They forget how to talk when they're on Roblox. They scream at each other like they're in a separate rooms. Same thing on this side. Don't pick any side to put this on. You can even have a broken line like that if you wanted. You know where I've sort of broke the line up a bit? This is just how I like to do raindrops. Like I say, there's lots of different ways of doing it. So if you find that the way I'm doing it is a bit trickier than a different tutorial or way of doing it you've seen, then you do the one that works best for you. Like I say, I've seen a few different people do it different ways. So depends what you find easiest. Put that on there. Still in frame, let's move up a bit so we don't end up hanging off. Oh, someone's at the door. That'll be my daughter's school shoes that I've ordered from my mother. Daddy will go to bed all. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's done. Right, let's get to this bottom bit. Right at the bottom now. I'm just going to wipe my brush up a bit. It's just collecting a pool of paint towards the bottom. So let's start up here. <laughs> my kids are wild on that game i think i went on it once i don't play games but i went i logged on it once because they kept asking me to go on it and i couldn't bear it i was like how do you play on this thing it's so rubbish <laughs> <laughs> the dad's laughing away at him now, but I wonder what he's doing on it. Seems like they're having plenty of fun down there, isn't they? Where are we up to? Only got a few more. Just a very bottom panel, I'm calling it the panel of the window. This one I'm going to pick a side again. And then moving on to this side, I'm going to start at this side here. Just gonna drip that down there. Almost done guys and then I can show you the final step. The final step to making it look even more realistic. But I think that anybody can do this. I really do.
Don't know why my little boy has to scream when he's on that game. Don't know what the crack is. So if you can hear screaming, I apologise. <laughs> right, so that's that. So we're done with the paint now. It's all over my desk, it has to be said. I'm going to have to be careful. Let me lift this up so that we can see a bit better. So that's what we've got so far. So I'm liking how it's looking, but we want to take it a little step further. So we're going to use a fine liner, black fine liner, or a grey fine liner. You could use a grey fine liner. If you've got the micron pens, they do have a whole range of colours. But I'm going to use a 0.2 because I want it to be quite a delicate line where I'm going to outline some of these raindrops. So I'm going to bring it up to the camera. I'll bring you down, should I say why I'll show you what I'm going to do on the raindrops. So I'm going to bring you right close. So where we've just been, we're going to outline the darkest part. So it doesn't have to be a continuous line all the way around. It can be sort of the top half of the raindrop where we're going around with this pen. So you can start off in the white section if you want, if you want it to be more prominent. And you can sort of lift off there. And we're going to sort of do that round all the raindrops. Now they don't have to be in the exact same spot. It's sometimes a bit better and a bit more realistic if they're a bit sort of staggered maybe if maybe you just do over one side a bit like that or maybe the next one you might only go around that side of that one or you know what i mean you don't have to be samey samey with where you're putting them but it just really accentuates it so when you lift the page up and look at it from afar it looks even more realistic so that's what I'm going to do guys, so I'm just working my way around all of these. There is an emergency vehicle going past again, sod's law, isn't it? Always happens. I'm just going to fill that in, otherwise it's going to look dodgy. But yeah, I prefer to use a, a sort of thinner number micro pen this 0.2 is perfect size i think especially for those teeny tiny circle raindrops you might have done it's a noisy car outside oh my my little boy needs to stop screaming my girls don't do that <laughs> i really don't my girls don't do that Oh, that one went a bit out. I'm going to have to fill that in. So I knocked to that one a little bit, but not to worry. Right, the one with the raindrop, I'm going to pick the side with the grey, where the grey went down. So I'm going to outline at the side of the grey very carefully. This is where I've picked a thin micron pen as well. We're going to go around that side. Then maybe leave a gap and just put a little line there. Let's get some on these little bits here, not to miss anything out there. Let's move down onto the next bit. And this bit's the bit that sort of it does take time, I'm not going to lie, but it's quite mindless, I find. And then the outcome is just worth it. It's a bit like a bokeh background that takes a lot of patience and a lot of time, but once it's done, it's like, look at that, how amazing that looks. <laughs> just laughing at my kids, guys. They are loud. Next up, bottom bit. So this will be quite nice on this bit to accentuate ones that maybe are getting a bit lost into the background of this 
because it's a bit of a darker grey. So we're really going to pull out those raindrops now. Like I say, you can make this as simple or as tricky as you like, to be honest. Because there is even, you know, more detailed ways of doing raindrop pages. Like how I've put a few other drips. There's some paintings that they've got so much of that in. Like so much detail in them. Right, and now I'm going to do the other side. So I've done all the left hand side, I'm going to do the right hand side now, but I'm going to sort of bring you up a bit for this bit now, because I feel like you know what I'm doing now. So I'm going to get this side done. And then we can show you the finished effect. I feel like going round it with this pen really does make make the difference though. You might not be able to tell at first, but when you hold the page away from you, take a step back and look, you can really, you can really see the difference. Oh my god. <laughs> my daughter's been dramatic on that game. Do you not know what she is doing? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Now let's put that down there. Go and rain that one kind of. Get the top of that one. My hand always gets a bit in the way on this side, so I do apologise. Oh <sighs> I hope you can't hear my daughter keep saying that. Very, very loud. I'm going to just join that up. I've just messed that up a bit. There we go. It's a good job she's not upstairs. Put that way. Do it even louder. She's doing all the way downstairs, shooting that. a few more at this bottom and then we're done I'm excited I'm excited to take a step back and see what this page looks like on camera I hope it looks as nice as it does in sort of in front of me because it does look quite pretty There we go. So where's the lid gone to my pen? Oh, it's all right. So let me zoom me right out. I'm gonna have to pull this right up. That's what I'm gonna have to do. And we'll see. And if I hear my daughter say that word one more time. <laughs> yeah, but that's the page. What do we think? What are we thinking? Let me try and get a better angle so it's not got that horrible glare on when it has the glare from the lamp. It puts a horrible lighting on, sort of lighting on. I'm trying to get the whole page on so you can see the sort of effect a bit better. So we'll try that. I like how that's looking. Obviously the page isn't finished yet because we've not done her face, we've not done the butterflies, we've not done the bow. But I will be doing that in my own time and then I'll post this finished page on my Instagram. So if you're not already following over on Instagram, 
the um all the details will be in the description of this video but i'm the same name on tiktok on instagram on threads i think i'm on everything um i'm cursed to color and sketch and all of those things the only thing i don't have for my coloring is facebook i keep my facebook um private it's the only private platform that i have and that's just so i've got a bit of my personal life private so don't be offended if i don't add anyone over on facebook it's just that's my personal spot <laughs> over there um anywhere else i'm totally fine with youtube tiktok instagram threads yeah i'm on all them to speak and interact with all of you so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i found it helpful found a sort of idea for a background please do hit that big thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below and i'll let you go away from my noisy children <laughs> see you again soon guys bye bye